In this video I want to show you how to take our image sequence and convert it to a video using Maya's F-Check. Now F-Check is an application that comes with Maya and as you can tell my uh, render is still rendering so we'll get about 40 frames worth. But uh, so I can find my frames and my project. So if I go to my default images project, you can see uh, this snowman animation and the scene's really dark, but you can see he starts to, I've got about 41 frames in there, which is about not even two seconds. All right. And I'm just going through these one at a time. So how do we put these in a movie? Um, I really need to work on my lighting. Uh, yours should look better than this. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Uh, all right, so F check. Where do we find F check? If you go into your applications within Maya, uh, applications, and I need to find Autodesk. So you have some stuff here. If you go into Maya 2016, there's something called F-Check. Now what I usually do, I usually drag that into the dock uh, so I can use it there. But if you open it, uh, you can load image sequences. And you go to File, Open, Im um, Sequence. And all you have to do is select the first number of the image sequence. So I go back to my default uh, images and it's still rendering but that's okay and uh, and I'm just going to pick the first of my snow globe animation when I open it it's going to take it a second and it's going to go crazy and you're like oh no this is this isn't working but it's not running at the speed um, it's just it's not running at 24 frames per second which is what it's supposed to run at so don't worry about the speed you see here. You can adjust a few values like the luminance, uh, which it's just starting to blow out my scene. I don't want to do that. But uh, there, there's some s small tweaks you're going to want to do there. I don't know if you, it's worth doing it. This really isn't a uh, an editor. But we've checked our uh, timing elsewhere. So now all I want to do is go to File, Save as Movie. Now on a Mac it's going to save it as a .mov. I don't even know if this works on a Windows machine or if it saves it as a .mov on a Windows machine. But I do know that F-Check allows you to save as movie. Uh, so it's my test movie. And I'm going to save it to my desktop and save and if you've made any transformations in size or uh, you can render it according to the alterations you've made but I'm not going to do any transforms and then I should be able to find on my desktop somewhere the movie so test movie and uh, and here it is it's going to be really short So uh, there you go. Now this I could go and uh, of course I'm on I'm on a Mac. I could go and upload it directly to YouTube, punch in my YouTube information, and then, and then share the link with the class. If that doesn't work, which for some of you it won't. I know last semester I taught this. Uh, it didn't work for some people. You may have to try Blender or After Effects or some other video software that will take image sequences and allow you to convert them to video almost every uh, what do you call it video editor program will allow you to import sequences somehow uh, if you need special help with that you can ask other members of the class or ask me directly I have not made a video on that um, I do have an old video from last semester where I showed you how to do that in After Effects but I don't know if that will help many folks help many of you who has After Effects or who has access to that. But uh, this should work for most of you, and uh, let me know if it doesn't.